Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, previously we made an example with YOLO Volume 5 with C++. Actually, after that video there are many messages coming to me which are requesting me to make a video also with YOLO Volume 8 because uh, actually in internet you can find uh, tons of documents which is uh, sub, uh, which is showing how to use YOLO Volume 8 with Python but with C++ you cannot find many. So in this video I want to show you how we can use YOLO Volume 8 models with C++ and OpenCV. Okay. This is the main page of Ultra Analytics, uh, which is giving us the models of YOLO Volume 8. Actually, in here, uh, all you need to do is there are some models. Uh, it's going from light to the heavy one, so this is uh, working more accurate, but it's also working slowly in if you are not working with GPU or if you are working on CPU, it's gonna be slower, I can say. But this is the light model. Actually, I already downloaded YOLO Volume 8. You can try with the others. The uh, the method I'm showing is not gonna change, just uh, you are gonna get uh, different kind of models, that's all. Okay, all you need to do is just get the one of these models, that's what number one step. Um, after that, uh, also I suggest you if you are directly watching this YOLO Volume 8 video, maybe you can uh, check my YOLO Volume uh, 5 video because in there also there are something uh, I, don't, I, will, I don't want to mention again. Uh, first of all, we need to convert this PyTorch model to into the Onyx format because OpenCV can uh, OpenCV and DNN backend can uh, only use Onyx format, so that's why we need to convert this PyTorch model into the Onyx. And I I just want to show you these discussions because there are many of these discussions. The main problem which uh, you cannot directly use this YOLO Volume Five method because they switched. Uh, the dimension they switch the matrix of the results so YOLO volume 5 was simply giving the batch size and the uh, number of the predictions also the directions but in YOLO volume 8 they are switched the, the first they are giving the uh, dimensions which is uh, somehow giving you the result of the predictions and the boxes and next they are giving the also um, number of the predictions so they just switched the uh, matrix I don't know why they did but this is mostly confusing otherwise uh, somehow you can directly use the same code which I gave in the YOLO volume 5 but yeah somehow you want you need to make some transpose operations which is also there is a guy in here this one already suggested in here also I use this one you can go to his uh, GitHub page also there is an in, uh, inference which you can directly use also but I already simplified a very simple example actually a hundred lines I can put this to my GitHub also you can directly get from there and use and uh, okay I will explain this code I don't want to uh, code from the scratch because uh, it's gonna take time and it's gonna uh, yeah I think explaining is very easy there is, there is only three functions which is uh, loading the class list which is getting the list of uh, maybe before this maybe we can first of all explain you um, how to uh, convert this uh, PyTorch model into an Onyx format okay uh, there is a Python script which is this one using Ultralytics uh, in the previous video I already uh, talk about this ultra analytics you need to uh, pip install this one and after that you can import the YOLO and once you did this after that uh, you just need to give the uh, PyTorch model which we downloaded from here one of these I downloaded the best one in here and after that uh, then the next is you are uh, defining your, your format this format you can also check this can be Onyx and uh, there are TensorFlow, other kind of things, but with mine, I don't know the actual reason, but there can be many reasons. Only TF Lite working fine with my environment. My environment, if you are also curious, I can show you uh, my pip list. Uh, okay, maybe you can check some TensorFlow things. You can check the versions because it's working fine with me. So just uh, if you are curious, you can check what are uh, my versions and the other important one I'm using CUDA uh, 12 uh, but you don't have to use CUDA because uh, in here we are gonna talk also you don't have to use CUDA you can continue with your CPU it's also possible but with CUDA of course it's gonna be faster 
with GPU and uh, CUDA 12 I'm using also I can show you that maybe let me show uh, MVCC version okay this one I'm using CUDA 12.2 and the next is also the OpenCV version I'm using the OpenCV 4.8 so these are my versions because if you are not get the same if you are not getting the same result as you see in my video in this video it means there are some version conflicts or some something wrong you are not following well so you need to know that okay this is the first thing i need to mention the next is uh all i need to do is just running this python script with this only then it's gonna give me onyx format in here it's trying to uh making the uh, operations in behind and uh if it needs, it needs something, it's downloading something. But uh, it's, I just need this uh, YOLO Volume 8x Onyx format. So this is all I need. And I already prepared my Coca TXT file. This is the uh, file which is including the object, which objects which is uh, this YOLO Volume 8 is supporting. This is also famous data set. So person, bicycle, continues like that. And uh, like that, this Coco and this uh, we talk about this python script this almost done but even it gives some error but already it extract my onyx model so there's no problem with that and i'm copying this and just pasting into here but uh, before that maybe we can start from here um i uh i defined something before that these colors do i use oops I don't use this one so I can remove here um, score threshold is the um, how can I say a bit uh, inside the predictions I'm just choosing the higher uh, percentage this is 50 percentage if uh, the backend is sure uh, more than 50 it means it's a valid predicted box we can say and this is something used for uh, we can talk in the code part in below more um also model shape uh, 640 to 640 in here we already see that this is supported uh, this model 640 to 640 where is that um here yeah so we are writing the model shape in that direction and the class list is gonna include our coco list which is this one ACT object should be ACT. okay here um this is also done and now first of all we are loading our class list just is getting the coco txt and pushing all the strings into this class list that's all this is gonna include at the end 80 objects okay this is the first one and we are defining our frame we are uh, defining our camera and uh, after that we are defining our dnn net and we are loading our network which is in this function and here uh this uh, can directly be the function read net uh, at the in the backend it will recognize this as an onyx format but you can also directly write read net from onyx by specifying it doesn't matter and also if the guys which is uh, trying to um, uh, export maybe in your environment somehow it can work just by writing here tensorflow or onyx you can try other kind of read net from that net from tensorflow kind of but yeah as i said the other format types for me didn't work somehow okay anyway um this after this is done if it's cuda in my case since i have a gpu and cuda installed if you do not have gpu it's okay with con just to try with cpu but if you have gpu you can install the cuda you can check my video how to install cuda and uh like that it's just uh defining the backend as CUDA and the target as CUDA as all and the is um, our network is defined so these two functions simply done now nothing much uh, nothing left much and here in the while loop we are just reading each frame um, and after that we are right uh, we are calling the detect function which is in here we are giving our image current image and we are giving our network so this is the most important one to understand this uh, code logic. Others are not really difficult. So model input is uh, equalized to the image. We could directly use also image, but 
anyway so we are defining our blobs uh, in the yellow volume 5 video we already talked detail about here so blob from image we are giving them image blob and this uh, some calculations this is the suggested one and model shape 600 to 40 640 scalar any color and uh, just true and false we you can check yellow volume 5 video for details of this blob from image and the next we are setting our blob into the network and the next uh, we are gonna get output so this output is gonna include everything we need that's the important one this is gonna be the vector of the mat and uh, also did this output which was uh, meaning this part so where is that um, there were some dimensions anyway maybe we skip that part anyway so that uh, dimensions which is uh, 8000 something like that so this is gonna uh, give us a matrix huge matrix and if you if we were using YOLO volume 5 we are using this one which is rows which is the number of the predictions in the uh, YOLO volume 5 it was like something like this which is a huge number but in YOLO volume 8 is giving us 8400 predictions so for YOLO volume 8 uh, they are giving this much predictions and YOLO volume 5 they are giving this much uh, so uh, before this number was in here in YOLO volume 5 but in YOLO volume 8 is switched into the, this second uh, dimension of the matrix so also the opposite dimensions are switched to this number the for first row of the matrix yeah is the uh, so after that we are making some mathematical things to be able to uh, switch this uh, YOLO volume 8 matrix into the YOLO uh, kind of YOLO volume 5 not YOLO volume 5 but which this uh, OpenCV code the rest of the code can understand so that's the meaning and uh, after that uh, the, the rest of the code is very similar to do uh, YOLO volume 5 video code but I simplified more we are getting the data and we are defining our class IDs confidences and the boxes class IDs is gonna give us the number of the detected object which is in here for example if it's a surfboard it's gonna give us 37 this is because uh, it starts from zero so it's gonna be 37 and the confidence is um, it's gonna give how many percent that is a surfboard let's say and the boxes is gonna be the box around the object we are gonna draw at the end and uh, inside all the predictions each predictions for example for YOLO volume 8 we have 8400 predictions and for each predictions uh, each predictions is gonna have 84 data inside which is the four of them is gonna be the um, four of them is gonna be the box the following uh, act is gonna be the um, prediction percentage for each object so we are gonna get the highest prediction for example let's say uh, one of them is gonna be the highest and the follow the first four uh, data which is giving us the box uh, is gonna belonging to that prediction so I, I think you understood clearly you can also check YOLO volume 5 to understand clearly and this X Y width and the height but these values is gonna come as as between 0 and 1 these are the flat values and you need to convert them into a meaningful for example these are a, a scale values so you need to uh, multiply this with uh, your image width minus because this is giving the center this is center x and this is center y and uh, this is width and this is height but by scale don't forget so these are that and you are just somehow making some uh, ratio things and you are getting the correct uh, left point of the box top point of the box which are x and the y and width and the height after that you are just pushing 
these rectangles into the boxes. But these boxes for each prediction, for example, there is a one person, it's gonna give you for that person maybe let's say 20 boxes around. So there is gonna be uh, crowded boxes around one object. So to eliminate that, you are using these uh, boxes, and that's why this NMS threshold is also working fine here. There is this is a parameter be behind this NMS boxes function. So it's also using. Uh, they can be similar, even can be the same. Uh, for higher accuracy, you need to increase both. For lower accuracies, you need to decrease both. Yeah. And this is gonna uh, filter those boxes for each object and gonna give you an MS result. And here you need to get uh, each result ID by on uh, I just reaching this one. And this ID X you can draw your rectangle in this line and you can put text the confidences and the real class string which is gonna give you via on this class list txt vector um, yeah that's all so basically this is the most important function and as I said this is a very simple code I just there's just 100 line you can reach that via on my github page also I'm gonna go put to the descriptions maybe we can run and see how it works Okay, you see, uh, I don't have many objects around, but it says I'm a person, 95% touch, and it says my cell phone is cell phone. So this working is faster, but uh, maybe we can try without GPU. You see, it's really slow. Yeah, comparing to GPU, still better, but yeah, it's not acceptable. But with light models, you can get still faster results with maybe with uh, these lighter ones. Maybe this, uh, the megabyte even the lower. So with this, you may get faster results with CPU even. So basically, I just wanted to make this video because there are many requests how to use YOLO Volume 8 with C++. I tried to explain there are some, uh, I don't know, with YOLO Volume 5 code you could directly use this model but they made some uh, weird switch, I don't know why. So I, I need to explain somehow. And thanks for watching, see you in the next videos.